Hey, this is Heather from Yellow Ribbon Crafts, and I want to show you how you're able to do my latest pattern. Um, it contains a lot of short rows, uh, but the short rows are made without wrapping your stitches. You just turn, and then there's a little secret when you get back to the stitch uh, to show you how to tighten it all together so that there aren't any holes. So I'm going to show you with the Crazy Zauber Ball. And without giving away too many secrets, um, you're going to knit until you reach the stitch that you turned. And here it is right here. And you can see you've got your stitch that's on the needle. You've got one underneath. And then there's this crazy string because um, of the way you turn that needs to be put up onto the needle. And then that string plus the stitch will get knit together just like you're doing a slip slip knit. Okay, I'll show you one more time because we've got two in a row right here. Here is that crazy string, not the one in the back. You want the one in the front. You're going to set it up on the needle. You're going to knit it and the stitch together. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the turn. So when you go to turn, it's really important that everywhere that it says turn, you'll do your turn. Make sure that your yarn is in the back. If your yarn is in the front, it's going to do a completely different thing. So make sure that that yarn is in the back. And when you go to slip, just slip knitwise. Don't slip purl wise or do anything funny. Just slip knitwise and keep on with the pattern until it tells you to turn again. So I'll show you another turn here real quick. You're going to make sure that your yarn is in the back of the work and just slip knitwise and continue with the pattern, okay? Quickly, I'm gonna show you again, I'm using a worsted weight because sometimes I understand that that Zauber ball can be a little bit hard to see. I've got a dark background. So you're gonna knit until your turning point, which is right here. Again, we've got the stitch on the needle. Here's this little one underneath and there's this crazy yarn that goes from this last stitch into the last ones or into the next ones set that up on the needle put your needle through it and the stitch that was there and knit them together here's another one we're going to pick that up set it up on the needle stick your right needle in through it and the original and knit those together just like you would a slip slip knit and i'm going to show you that turn when you go to turn, make sure your yarn's in the back and you're just gonna slip knit wise and continue on. There, that's every, that's the only trick to this shawl. Um, with that and the directions, you should be able to knock it out. It does take a little bit of perseverance, um, but I'm sure you can do it.